Joining us now is Bruce Bechtel, an expert on China and North Korea, also a political science professor at Angelo State University. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, can you tell us, President Trump said the U.S. is ready to act alone if China doesn't help with North Korea. Your thoughts? Well, I think essentially he's not cutting out our allies in South Korea or even Japan. Essentially what he's saying is that he understands that China has failed to follow the sanctions that it has agreed to put on North Korea in the past. So if they do that again, he's willing to go it alone. He's willing to use the United States economic instrument of power to go after North Korean banks, front companies, et cetera, that operate in China mm -hmm. and do that with or without Chinese cooperation. Uh, President Trump had a phone call with the uh, Prime Minister of Japan yesterday. How did that go? My understanding is it went very well, and he assured the Japanese that we will continue to help them with both their ballistic missile defense and with deterring the North Koreans from firing North Korean, excuse me, from firing ballistic missiles that could potentially target Japan. As North Korea may be preparing yet another test, we talk about South Korea and how they, people there are reacting. In fact, the South Korea's women's soccer team visiting the North right now for the first time in almost 30 years. You know, that's a, that's a great point. I think the South Koreans, you know, they, they see the North Koreans as brothers, perhaps brothers who have gone down the wrong path. Um, but nevertheless, the biggest concern for the South Koreans continues to be the North Korean nuclear program because they could easily wipe out some place like Seoul. Quickly, what's the biggest concern for people here in the U.S.? Number one concern right now. I, I think the biggest concern is North Korea matching a ballistic missile with a nuclear warhead that could hit the United States, and I think we'll be able to see that in the next few months. How hard do you think the president is going to come down on China today? I think that North Korea will be his highest priority, even higher than the economic issues he'll be discussing with China, because he realizes that North Korea presents a clear and imminent danger to the security interests of the United States. Dr. Bruce Bechtel, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, ladies. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you.